Okay. I don't know. Hello, hello, everyone. I don't know if you guys can see me. I see myself a little blurry, so I do apologize if that's what you guys are seeing. Um, so we have today in the panel Angela Velasquez and Karen Stencil. So I do apologize. Hold on, let me mute. Hello, everybody. Hi, Hello. ladies. And I see um, Dbar, Miss Carol, um, Gloria, Miss Gloria, Young Sue, Tammy, Sandra, and I'm sure that the others are going to be coming in. So over in iPad and Kindle Land, we probably have Miss Phyllis, Miss Kathy, Haran. Um, so welcome everyone. Um, Tori, Alexander, welcome, welcome. Sandra Gillespie is here. Yes, yes, yes. So I want to show you guys before we start anything. I'm sure you guys probably see me a little blurry. I don't know. It's something going on with YouTube. Um, but this is what I worked on. Isn't that pretty. I'm so stinking excited over that, guys. <laughs> it's a, um, I got the inspiration from Flare by Me, but I did my twist on it, um, and it's gonna go. It's gonna sit on this little drawer that's functionable. Oh, look at that. And so I'm going to glue this down. I'm not done decorating this. Now, my paper on this little calendar is from Graphic 45, and I got that as a gift from um, Jackie Heichel. So thank you so much, Jackie, for that beautiful gift that you've given me. I'm not done decorating this. I miss Tori. This one is from Graphic 45. Thank you. Heichel. So thank you. It's probably Angela. You've given me. I miss Tori. I think it's Angela. No, oh. I'm I'm muted. I'm muted too. Yeah, I'm muted totally. So let me put the camera on me. And I do. Okay. So this is Jackie Heichel gifted me. This is the Graphic 45 Children's Hour Collection, and it has um, a collection for each month. And so that's what I use for my calendar. But I got the inspiration by Flair by Me, Melanie Santiago. So thank you for the inspiration. And I just did the drawer. And once I have it all nicely decorated, I'm going to glue this down to my drawer. And this is going to sit on my desk. And I can just flip through it. And then every year I can create an entirely new, new one. So I'm excited about that. Very, very excited. Um, so that is my little project that I've been working on. And then, of course, I did this. Um, so cute. This what we're going to work on today. It looks like a little girl. Hi, Miss Jackie. Miss Jacqueline Hoff is joining us. Welcome, Miss Jacqueline. Um, so this is what we're going to work on today. It is actually this little bag that I picked up at 75% off from, and you can see the back. I picked this up 75% off at Joann Fabrics. All these are vintage laces with the exception of this one here. Actually, you can see it better here. I picked that up at Joann's. Um, Creative Details is going to be having a sale. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Cindy Bigby. Um, Creative Details is going to be having a sale 50% off starting Monday through the 14th. Uh, so be sure to um, take advantage of the coupon, with his, which is 18 January 2018, I believe. And no. you get 50% off. Am I wrong? Yeah, it's 18 January 50. Okay, 18 Jan, it's J-A-N 50. And it's valid from January 8th through the 14th for 50% off the laces and uh, trims. So take advantage of that. Hi, Miss Yvonne. Hi, Miss Penny. Hi, Lynn. Lynn, I have Lynn Young, Lynn Tresseder joining us. So welcome, ladies. So here is the hello. It turned out to be like um, it's three ninety nine. Half of that is two dollars. Anyone that does good math will probably figure it out. So it's like a dollar something, dollar twenty five maybe that I paid for this and then I use an additional 20% off my total. So I got this really dirt cheap. Hi Seema, hi Karen. So um, we did that and I did some gorgeousness to it. 
Inside, as I told you guys, it's going to have my potpourri. Um, these are, um, you can purchase these at Michael's Hobby Lobby. Does not carry them, but Joanne does have these. Um, I think Tuesday so. morning has some too. Okay, okay, there you go. So if you have a Tuesday morning, um, head on over there. And then I use a little um, Velcro piece to hold that in. But I also purchased, excuse me, purchased some lavender. So I'll probably do a little lavender pack that you can throw in there. I, I didn't, I got this one from Michael's and it doesn't smell as pretty. Um, so, but even if we don't use it for um, our potpourri, to hide our potpourri, ugly looking sachets, um, we can use it for something else, okay? All right, so let's get rocking and rolling. I'm going to put the camera. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Maria. Hey, Jackie, I used the paper that you sent me um, a little while ago to do this. I haven't quite finished it. I will finish it and show you what it looks like. We'll put it out with you, May Larson. Huh? We'll put it out with you. Why? He was holding that graphic 45 and didn't sniff it for me. <laughs> Jackie sent me that. Um, well, Jackie, uh, I hope you at least sniffed it for me, hon. <laughs> yeah, Jackie Heichel sent me that, and it was perfect for this little calendar. Um, it's perfect for um, a little project. So thank you so much, uh, Melanie Santiago, with the inspirational tutorial um, that she did. So very pleased with how that turned out. I did it a little bit different than hers, of course, but um, it's all good. Hi, Gun. I'm going to put the camera down, and we're going to start creating. All right, so here's my little bag. And of course, we're going to use our favorite little thing to use, which is our hot glue gun. And we're going to use those little Velcro and your fabric scissors and vintage laces. And you're also going to need um, a really good long needle. And I use this long needle that you can purchase at Creative with Details. And it's the one I always use for my flowers and things like that. Okay. Here's my little trims that I've selected for this piece. And I cut them in half. And this is probably, I would say, because huh, I know you guys are going to ask me. This is, I would say this is like 18 inches. Yep, 18 inches. So we're using 18 inches of trim just about um, to do this piece in our hot glue, our imagination. And I have a, um, let's see. I use this little applique that I had here in my stash. And I just cut out a little frame in the inside and I put my vintage photo inside there. So that's what I used. So you guys ready for this? Yes. Let's, let's go. Go. All right. So let's do the whip stitch that my friend Shadi was kind enough to show me. And hello. Hello, hello Miss Anita. And I must have torn up. I don't know why it's these needles every now and then I tear them up I must have already used that one out it's called too much sewing oh Tori had that oh, math down she said that. about 80 said about 80 cents. she got what the math for what you probably paid 80 cents. Okay, there you go. 80 cents is what I paid. Yeah. Looks like I tore, I broke my needle. I'm going to have to get a new one. How did you that? I, I don't know. I broke the tip. Yes, Karen. So, you, your sounds echo. Echo? Well, I can't help that. All right. Thanks for telling Thanks me. Thanks for telling me. Telling me. Well, people are writing it here. I know. Karen is 
drowning under the sea. It's YouTube, ladies. That's not. We try to fix it here, but I think YouTube is just. Um, it's just Messing a little finicky, up. I think. YouTube is a little bit pain in the booty. Yeah. Now, if you have a sewing machine, you can definitely take your sewing machine and run a um, stitch, a gathering stitch on your on your pieces. But I don't want to pull out my sewing machine. I do these things hand by hand. We're going to do the whip stitch, and you guys have seen me do this many, many times. So just take your needle, push it to the back, and that's just it. And I got a hoop. I went to um, my local thrift store and I picked up a hoop because I'm going to work on a hoop. Project. What you going to do with it? We're going to do a project. Miss um, Angela Velasquez and myself. We're going to do a hoop project. If you guys happen to see Angela's YouTube video on all her buttons, she's holding out on us, ladies. <laughs> She's got buttons galore in her garage, in her craft room. Hi, Lourdes. Hi, Lynn Crate Grace Craft. Hi, Han. Hi, Lourdes. Everybody who's in. Yes, welcome, welcome. So we'll probably do another tutorial. I know you guys are anxious to have another tutorial sometime this week. I'm trying to talk to um, our friend here on the panel to do a tutorial on those dex cards put her on the spot ladies yeah i'm going to i will i will make a tutorial of a shaker card so you can use all those wonderful buttons sequence see yeah she's going to show me and you know what she's going to show me how to do um, one of her fabulous dex card with the shaker stuff on it hi miss nancy so I'm looking forward to that little tutorial. Yeah, I got me into the Dex card. We'll see how that, I, you guys know how I am with fussy cutting now, but you know what? My husband got a me, she got me a machine, so, and a paper cutter, so I better put that baby to work, right? He's got to pay the debts. All right, so we have about this much, and we're going to go from edge to edge. I go about maybe a third, a quarter inch up from the bottom. A quarter inch up and kind of figure where that's gonna go and then I'm gonna close off my end but yeah take advantage of creating with details um, sale this coming week Monday everyone run over there and take advantage of that coupon code Jan or 18 Jan 50 And if you want to get a confirmation on it, stop by Shadi's video and um, you will see where she's talking about it. I'm going to go ahead and sew all these together um, and then glue them and make more. It'll make more sense. Okay. Let's sew, sew, sew. And I just grabbed these from... These have been sitting around for a while, and they were from eBay. Um, when I have these little ones that are almost like a mesh netting, I try to find a good place to grip my needle and thread through. Run it a couple times and do a lock stitch. Now, the image that I'm going to use is one that I picked up from Pinterest. Um, it was free domain image. Um, but you guys know that I, I use a lot from several ladies on Etsy. So feel free to use whatever image you guys want. Or make this little bag for e even your little granddaughter or friend. doesn't have to be for potpourri. I just wanted to hide my potpourri bag. Thank you, Young Sue, for sharing that. Does anyone know how Miss Ruth is doing? I do not know how Miss Ruth is doing. I hope she's doing good. I've sent her a couple of messages, so I hope that she's doing very well. Um, have not heard from her since um, 
Thanksgiving. I've sent her messages, but I haven't heard from her, so I'm hoping she's doing well. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to whip it. How is your heater, Miss Penny? Did you get your heater fixed? That is a very generous discount. It's an awesome discount. 50%, my God. You can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. That's a good deal. So we're going to go here, here, and then close it off. It's a very good deal. I know I should have had all these sewn up before, but <sighs> I'm random. Didn't feel like it. I'll be honest. I didn't feel like sewing that. I did not feel like sewing at all before class. I was so excited that my little um, calendar drawer came out. I was working on that last night, trying to get the measurements and everything right that I got up this morning and I said, I got to find a hoop and I got to finish that calendar. I don't know what it is. I think my daughter must have turned on the heat here because I am sweating bullets, ladies. Really? Yeah. I think she must have turned my heater up or something. I'm hot. I have to take one of my turtlenecks off. It's another one. They're all running about 18, probably 20 inches. My long jumps are staying on until it hits 30 again. <laughs> Oh, maybe sometime next week. That's a long day. Do you have a substitute heating? Anything to keep you warm? Kerosene, anything? No. Karen's going to keep her long johns on. <laughs> She's making fun of her dogs because she says her dog George was freezing his cojones. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It's cold. I bet it's cold up there. I bet it's cold up in Canada. Let's get that Canadian wind. Ugh. Remember when we lived in Minot, North Dakota? That Canadian win was no joke. I bet. Okay, you're not cold, but not freezing. Okay, good. I hope you're staying warm. Lots of warm, warm, warm clothing. Lots of blanket. That's probably the best time not to even go outdoors. And see, I didn't even know that Tennessee got really cold until Karen was telling me, oh, yeah, I mean, it's like 20 here last night, wasn't it, Karen? Oh, no, we hit single digits. Oh, geez. I had to have a heat lamp for my wash house. And I think we're supposed to get like back down to nine tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But we will be in the 30s tomorrow, and I'm breaking out the sunscreen. Yeah. I want a picture. She's going she's gonna to sunbathe <clears throat> out in the mountains of Tennessee. That's why I live in the mountains. No one can see me. <laughs> she's going to sunbathe in the mountains of Tennessee. Yeah. There 
Let's rub it in YZ. What is YZ? Rub it in YZ. Oh, rub it in Young Sue. Is that what you mean, Miss Carol? Rub it in, rub it in. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> It's not the right time for heaters to break. I can tell you right now, the East Coast has gotten really hit big time with um, with bad weather. Mm -hmm. They were even saying that you shouldn't even, some people were leaving their dogs out. They were even saying that you shouldn't, eat, well, you shouldn't leave that. That's animal cruelty. Because they've got hit with really bad weather in the East Coast. And there's people leaving their dogs outdoors. I think it depends on the dogs. There are some dogs that are meant for that weather. Yeah, like a Siberian Husky. Those are meant for hot, uh, cold weather. But there's dogs out there that aren't meant for cold weather. Mm-hmm. It's well, like yeah, I see people have Siberian, Siberian Husky here in Arizona, and when that summer comes, that's a cruelty for them. Yeah, it is. It's too hot in Arizona for a Siberian Husky. Okay, we're whipping these along. Then we just have to glue them. It's not really hard to do this. It's pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. I am crafting of, along with you, May Larson. What are you making? I'm working on one of my albums. Cool beans. I gotta sit down. I gotta sit. My feet are hurting. What are you making, Miss Angela? You know what I'm doing? Organizing. Organizing, ladies. Are you organizing. still organizing from last night, Angela? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I actually tried to discover another, see if I find another treasure like those buttons. <laughs> She's got a treasure of buttons. I kid you not. You should have seen her. You should go to her YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. She had found a buttons galore treasure that she purchased in 2015 now how many of us and we already know we've discussed this the other day um how many times we make purchases and we forget we bought it hide it and um and then it's like christmas again when we find it again well she found a treasure of buttons and sweet sequences right yeah, it has sequins. It was even before the shaker trend came in that that company, Buttons Galore, came with those. It has seed beads, sequins, buttons, flatback pearls. They're perfect for uh, shaker cards now. Right, right. Pretty. She had a pretty assortment of buttons that she's found. And she was enabling the ladies to buy buttons and right now joanne i don't know if you guys know this but joannes.com um they have sorry my hands are starting to stiffen up um they have um a 20 total total of 20 percent off from your purchase price online and in store and the buttons were 50 percent off at um, Joanne, so I, I assume you can still use, well, you should because I just made a purchase and buy buttons for 50% off. Um, so if you guys are trying to find buttons, Joanne's has an additional 20% off on top of what they currently have for the buttons. I think you have until the day. Now you are the enabler. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm not enabling. Do you, you have a Maltese Puerto Rican thing? You have a Maltese uh, dog, Miss Carol. What about a Puerto Rican? See, I have ADD, and I just heard Puerto Rican. What did you say about Puerto Rican thing? 
I didn't even want to pay attention. Enabling. I said, I think it's a Puerto Rican thing. To enable. Oh, because Angela was enabling people to buy buttons. Now I'm trying to enable people to buy buttons. Uh -oh. I put a disclaimer. I says, I'm not enabling anybody. I'm not promoting this company. I love buttons too. And it's so funny. I, I keep telling you guys the same story. And I do apologize if I repeat myself over and over. But just before my mom, my mom always, always collected buttons. And, you know, I should have taken her button jar. And I didn't because I thought, oh, you're not going anywhere, mom. Keep your button collection. Now I wish I had her button jar. She would go everywhere, goes through, the shirt was no good anymore. She would yank the buttons off. She had an obsession with buttons. My mom used to do that when she will get rid. She has, my sister kept that box and it's not fair because she's not a crafter. I am a crafter. And my mom used to have one tin of those of cookies. Uh-huh. And she will put every single button there. There's very vintage buttons in that box in that tin when i went there last uh -huh. year i saw it because she had a display in a little table in the guest room with one of the doilies uh -huh. that my mom crochet because she used to crochet and i opened the tin to see what it, i says i didn't know you had this it says yes it's mine <laughs> i'm not gonna let you use mom's buttons and anything I says, I'm not going to use it, but I can make something for me. I don't blame you. Those are sacred buttons. Sacred, sacred buttons. So have you guys made your shopping list with Korean with details, laces? Set? I haven't made my way over there to see what's on there, but I got to make my way in there. Uh, so you guys better make sure you leave enough laces for me. Can you use a code until Monday? Monday, Monday, then you can put that code and submit your order to Creano Details. And the code again is? 18JAN50. And it's capital A, capital J, sorry. She must be making room for her new laces. I know she said she was planning on selling wholesale laces too, offering wholesale laces. So she must be making room for her new supplies that she's gotten in. All right. Getting, coming along. I'm sorry. No, I run. Getting all these laces sewn up. It does take a while. Like I said, if you have one of those gathering sewing foot, you can gather it up in your sewing machine. I do this by hand. Yeah, you're right, Young Sue. The 8th through the 14th is the sale. So make sure you put it in your calendar. And... My husband owes, I got to tell you guys, my husband owes me a, a manicure. He really does. He owes me a manicure because, oh, I didn't use this one. Okay. Because we were um, fixing the bed and he put the, comf he was helping me put the comforter and I said, ooh, you yanked my nail back. Broke my nail. So I told him, I said, ooh, you owe me a manicure. I think, um, Lynn, I think if you check with her, she can find uh, reasonable shipping rates with you, uh, for you. Um, talk to her or her daughter. I would talk to her daughter, Katerina, if you're in her group, Creative Details. Uh, I'm sure they can check reasonable rates for you. Um, and um, that way... I mean, her laces are beautiful. I'm getting into these. I love, I've, oh, well, not getting. I've always loved these eyelet trims. I don't know if you guys like these. I love the eyelet trims. 
Love, love, love eyelet trims. This one I know that it's going to be a little bit shorter because I didn't have a whole lot of this one, but it was so stinking cute. It looked like it went to a little girl's dress at some time or another. So our tutorial for this week, I'm hoping um, I got a shipping notification that my um, stuff for the suitcase came in. If that doesn't come in, then I'll just do the tutorial for our calendar. And you guys will get my take on how I did that. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. All right. So we're ready to glue. And we're going to go with... Here's my lace. We're going to go about three quarters inch up on this one. Karen is concentrating when she's cutting paper. She likes to concentrate. I know. So I have to entertain you. Yeah, you're going to entertain me. I'm sorry. Am I ignoring someone? No, you no. just. Okay. You're focused on your measurements. Well, everything's measured right now. I'm just putting together. I'm actually getting my what I'm getting. My paper on my book. Getting that all cut and folded on there right. Okay. <coughs> You're forgiven, Karen. You're forgiven. Thank you, May. All right, layer one is down. Now this one, I just went in, it's, this probably belong, I would say this was a piece of a curtain. And I'm just gonna go up. It sort of looks just, like it as wide as it is, don't it? Yeah, I think it belonged because it was um, doubled, either uh, a curtain or maybe um, a pillowcase or a sheet or something. It's just um, just the way it's done. It's doubled up here, this piece here, see? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was probably at some point or another, someone's kitchen curtain. So we're going to go up maybe leave about an inch, inch and a quarter right there from the hem. So it's probably about... Four inches, and everyone does this to taste. Actually, three inch, inches and a half. This is up to you how you guys want to place these. But these little bags make wonderful gifts. Um, and it's the perfect time if you have a Joann's to snag these. And I saw it, and I saw potpourri when I saw it. Hmm. <laughs> What are you hmm about? Nothing. What are you humming about? Good. Huh? I'm being good. You're being good? Yes. Did you find something? I'm organizing. Well, what did you find? Because you're like, hmm. I found some fabric. Did you? Laces. Well, they're fabric, but... Like lace fabric. I didn't mm -hmm. even knew because, you know, I just, you guys start me in this shabby chic business. Can you believe it? She was blaming me about shabby chic laces. Because <laughs> I have some laces, but I never, my first projects ever done as a shabby chic was the projects that I did, the banner and the star. Um, and so yeah, you, you did a wonderful job. You did a beautiful job. Miss Penny, to answer your question, no, it does not because it's almost like a um, canvas bag. Um, this bag is very thick. Um, so it's not going through at all, as you can see. And I don't put a whole lot of laces, I mean, a whole lot of glue. But see, it's not going in at all. Um, so then we're going to go 
it's going to sit right up. I'm going to go about the edge of that trim. Every, again, everyone's going to be different. Oh, I forgot to mush that in. Shoot. So I'm trying to get Miss Angela to do one of her Dex card tutorials. So in the meantime, um, if she, I know she's got a lot of organizing, she said, to get her desk to be able to do the videos. And, but I will, I will. I'm 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 getting there. I'm I'm getting that area, this area here. She's got it. She's got a lot of. She knows a lot about papers. From like if you, if you have a question about a certain paper, and you don't know who made it or how it was it how it was made, ask Angela Velasquez. She knows because she knows about every company out there that has to do with scrapbooking. Hello, have at it. We are all warm here in Texas. I hope you're warm. But she's very good at knowing um, a lot about scrapbooking and scrapbooking tools and when it was made and who made it and what collection, if you have a question about a paper collection. Most paper people are. Huh? Yeah. I said most paper people are. Yeah. Like, Karen you ladies know, like you ladies know your laces and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been I've been crafting for close to 27 years with with paper. Yeah, so she knows a lot. And her desk, her Rolodex group, she she's very active in that group as far as keeping different projects going and challenges and swaps and yada 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 but she did this cute little card and i'm going to interrupt for a second can you show them the little cute card that you made that you showed oh, me today the the one with the shaker the one with the shaker okay i'm going to put the camera um over her when she's ready i want you guys to see this because it is this i mean i've done shakers when i was just st stamping up there's these little cups and you put your uh sequences and your beads in there um and you make your little shaker cups but the way she made it it's totally different and it's on a um what do you call that dex card it's cute and it's another way of doing even if you, if you don't want to do a card for a birthday you can give them a dex card i would think don't you think angela i don't see why not i, I would think I would think so too. I would think it'd be nice for a card or a tag or something that you can gift away. Mm -hmm. it's a thing, just like a different version. I mean, everybody's always inventing things. Why not? Absolutely. And Lynn said, if you see, if you use a thinner fabric bag, bag, you can slip something in between. Yeah, absolutely. If if you have a bag that's um that's thin. And you're kind of scared that it might glue or the glue might seep through. What I would do is take one of those freezer sheets or a cookie sheet, um, the paper, uh, parchment paper, um, put it in, or even even one of those film acetate that you have left over from a packaging. Stick it in here, and it'll keep it from sticking together. Or fold your craft sheet and stick it in. And I'll keep it from sticking. That's why you buy extra craft sheets so you can cut them down to different sizes. Right. Very good. That's a good, good point. You do um, cut your craft sheets um, to suit your craft needs. So, all right. When you're ready, Miss Angela, let me. Just, you're ready. Uh, She's ready. Move what are we thing. doing? Are we clicking on Angela. We're clicking on Angela. Okay. There you go. Let me just. Yes, Miss Cindy. I still have a little shaker card. Yes, Miss Cindy sent me a shaker me card and get the camera. Ooh. Um, and she also sent me this mason jar canvas. It was really pretty. Okay, since I got my buttons yesterday out after last night, I did this Dex card. 
Isn't that pretty? Look at it's even got gold and gold is like trending. I did the bow with a die that I had and I did cheers like a, you can move your there you can see the little sequence the black the back flat pearls the little uh beat seed beads I think and those would be one, perfect bags don't they I think there's I yeah. saw that I love what paper is that um Angela this paper yeah the little paper that you have in the back the che chevron chevron oh the chevron, chevron. believe it or yeah. not this is a uh, Michael's recollection recollection that I bought because it was old chevrons and it was on metallic colors uh-huh so I'm not too fond of the recollection paper because I don't like glossy papers I like my papers to have texture yeah I'm not crazy about and I don't like and but this one has spoiling and it comes like gold silver shell chevrons and I found it and I wanted to use this teal color with gold and this is from Tim Holtz. You know that Tim Holtz has that paper. Um, and I and that paper is extra, extra thin. And it's very easy to make that bow. And this is a little tag that I had. And it says, wishing you laughter and cheer through the year. So I didn't have a on New Year card so i guess so stinking cute my collection that is really cute now did you make that bow yes with a die oh it's a paper die. it's a paper and this is tim holt's paper um glitter paper it's very thin i like it because it's very thin and it's very soft the hello that i have up here it's heidi swap that is cute. I like that. See, that is that to me is adorable. That is really, really cute. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So you have to do a tutorial on that. Yeah, and you won't. You will be surprised. What is the shaker here? But I won't reveal that until I do the tutorial. Oh, you little stinker! No, I don't want to be. A, I don't want to spoil. I. I be surprised how easy this is. Hi Liz. Uh, yeah, you're 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 is that the sequence you showed us yesterday yes. from Buttons Galore? Yes. That is cute. Yes, I use some of the sequence. And um so yes, that, that was my cute. little card. The good thing, you know, the only thing I, I think they're so addictive for me is because you can use little pieces of paper or anything that you have a little piece of lace, a little piece of ribbon, some buttons, some stickers. And I had a lot of that stuff and I never used it. And now with these cards, I find myself using stickers, using little pieces of paper that I used to save in my scraps because they're very easy to do. And actually you, don't really even need any tools because there's a tutorial how to make this holes without oh. having the punch. Oh, cool. Hi, Marlene. Thank you for joining us tonight. How is the weather over in Canada? So you'll have to show us what video that is. Um, oh, it, it's, it's in my, it's in, I will post it in your group. It's in my file. Okay because I have a file, what supplies you need in the group and what, um, you know, how to make the holes if you don't have the tools. So everything, I think my group is pretty organized. <laughs> yeah, it's very organized, unlike other groups. <laughs> okay, no. all right, so now we're gonna get to our handles. And what we're gonna do is I just use a crochet trim and I'm going to tuck some of this in here, just like so. And I'm going to use this the strap Are as a good dialogue. Okay? Am I? I'm clicked on myself, yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave about an inch down. 
And I'm gonna use the center of my crochet trim as the guideline as well as where the strap's gonna go. And we're just doing one side of it. And the good thing is I have a craft mat. I can press down with my little handy dandy pink fingers. You can change or cut out these little straps, but I thought, you know what? It's perfect. It's okay. We're just going to alter them a little and call it a wonderful day. Hi, Liz. Hi, Judy. Oh, Judy's, Judy's here. Yes. Oh, my God. I better go and hide. <laughs> Why? Because of the buttons? Yeah. She Judy, is trying to blackmail me with the buttons. Judy, did you order buttons yesterday from, um, I think, we, uh, Paper Wishes was the cheapest place that you can get those buttons. Um, you got seven bottles for $31. And then if it was, they had an extra 10% off your highest item in your cart shipping was $8.99 so that was we were we were kind of doing an investigation as to who sold those buttons cheaper um I'm surprised they still well they're still there because I google it before that to make sure that I'm not showing something that you can't get anymore oh yeah buttons well buttons galore um that they're known for their buttons but I thought this brand, because actually the the girl who came up with this collection and this mix is, her name is May, but instead of, that an I is a Y. And I want to say that her last name is Flair or Fl something with, if you go on YouTube and put 28 Lag Lag Lane, you're going to see her videos and she is created this beautiful mixes. You're in British, Victoria, British Columbia. We have mild weather for Canada, seven Celsius. Um, and Judy said she got the buttons from at Buttons Galore. So you use the Buttons Galore website. Um, they had all those sequences. Okay, so now we're gonna do the back of our little handle. And um, this project is actually almost finished. We're just going to probably do the hanger and a little sachet for my potpourri. And that's it. It's not going to, it didn't take long to do this, right? Quick little altering project. I like these kind of quick projects. I went through the thrift store today to see if they had any wedding dresses. No wedding dresses. None whatsoever. Oh my God, no. Now, normally I go to the hospice store here because um, I like to support them. Mm -hmm. uh, but they didn't have it. And that's where I bought it. I've been lucky at buying dresses. And Judy says, hi, Angela, how is Fidel? Fidel is fine. He's getting ready to go to work tonight. He says hi to all the ladies. <laughs> oh, he works tonight? Yeah, today is his Monday. Well, tomorrow, Sunday is his Monday. He works Sunday through Wednesday. So he he didn't sleep much today then because he was up earlier. Yeah, he got he gets up early, early. But um since he's he's pretty rested through because he get 3 days off. So he's pretty rested and 
He stay up a little later. But yeah, yeah he get up at midnight and have to be on his way before one in the morning to his work. That's a tough. That I feel tough. sorry for him. Yeah, it's a tough schedule. I don't think I can do that kind of schedule. Thank God. Thank God. We don't live in Wyoming and he works. Because can you imagine him trying to get out his car of the driveway every morning? Oh, every yeah. midnight? <laughs> that would be insane. That would be insane. It's because my husband says when he retire, he wants to go and live in Wyoming. And then I took pictures of, um, well, I showed her in a video of what it was like when I was there. And I said, do you really, really want, oop, I had that on backwards. Do you really, really, really want to move to Wyoming? This is what we drove up in. It was nasty. Oh my God, it was horrible. Bad weather. No. We always have this funny saying, you don't put Puerto Ricans out in cold weather. I don't want to do that. Not for me. Okay. So there that there's this part of my bag. Now this trim I picked up at um, Joanne's. It was like $7.99 and I used my coupon on it. Um, and I thought it'd look perfect just to go right up here on the top. And I'm probably going to wrap it around. I have enough. I cut. I did a boo boo yesterday and cut a piece off a little bit short, so I was a little off, just a little. So I'm just gonna seep it up here. And I don't normally buy laces at Joann's because they're always expensive. Um. But I couldn't help it on this one. It was pretty, pretty pick me up from the rocks, Maylar. So don't leave me hanging here. Oh my God, I found another treasure. I got a tip for you, May. What's that? Uh, before you go to squeeze your glue, take the lid off of it. Why? What did you do? I didn't do nothing. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't coming out. <laughs> I knew you were talking about yourself. When it came to that, <laughs> weren't we just talking about that the other day? I don't know. I'm pleading ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, ladies, if you have children, don't let them go near your sewing scissors. Um, I'm assuming that one of my wonderful children has, and I'm going to say, that the youngest because she's the one that brought the scissors to me. Um, she got a hold of my sewing scissors and now they're no good. So I'm going to have to have them sharpen. And I don't know a sharpener around here. We used to have Hancock fabric. Hi, Mary Lou. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, I'm yeah, sorry. You go ahead. I says we used to have Hancock fabric. I don't know if you guys have heard. They sell all kinds of fabrics. Uh huh. And they, they there was a, a guy who used to come at, at least twice a month. Uh huh. Sh sharpen your your scissors, knives, whatever you you need it. I'm pretty sure they went bankrupt. Yeah, they went bankrupt. They closed the store. And it, I, if I knew at that time that I was going to do Shabby Chic, I would have bought a lot of things. Because they had laces, they had... Yeah, fabric. but you know what? When I went to their sale here, they didn't have a whole lot. Oh, well, this store yeah. here near, near me did for sure had a lot. No, I mean like a whole lot. I didn't think it was a big of a sale. Like, 
Oh, I got okay. You said the discount. I see her. I'm Mary Lou. And May Mary Lou says um, Joanne might offer that service. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't think about that. I bought them at Joanne's. I bought them at Joanne's. I don't have to check that. Thank you, Mary Lou. All right. So we had a little boo boo. It just kind of made do with what we had because I cut it too short yesterday because I was too busy chatting. Chat, chat. You know how that is. I don't know you what start, you're talking about. You start chatting and you cut things the wrong size. <laughs> you must have been talking to Angela then. Okay. I don't know. It's I all my fault. I don't think I was Angela. I think there was a, a K involved in that name. Oh, do you have a friend named Kitty? <laughs> I will take the, I'll take, I will Angela's, take that one from here for Karen. Karen's going to, uh, uh, Angela's going to take the, the heat for her. Aww. Yeah. That's Since a good friend. Crafting, and I'm organizing. I got my spine and excuse me while I celebrate in quite in, in private time. Go ahead. Let's hear you. Go Karen. Go Karen. Hi, Miss Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Go Karen. Go Karen. Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> Yes, I'm not chewing anything tonight. I have I I cook a very nice meal. You so cook I, a nice meal for her hubby. He was a good wifey. Yes. Sometimes he gets a little scared when I cook something too good. He says, "What are you going to ask me for?" <laughs> is okay, there so something behind this do i have to get you something <laughs> i says no just trying to be nice joe used to ask me that if i offer to put it out too fast <sighs> hey here's the truth mm -hmm. one dollar for sharpening at joanne's i'll have to think about that it's, is it blurry to you guys i keep seeing myself blurry it doesn't look as clear as it usually does to me, May, but. Let me see in the computer here and you look okay. Okay, so I want to take this little digital image mm -hmm. and I'm going to use this, this applique, this applique to put her in. But it has like a little window area. So I'm just going to figure out where about she goes and then lift and trim. Cause that's where she's going to be peeking through. Okay. So then because she's a sticker, we're not a sticker, but one of those little sheets I use. We're going to place it, and I figure that the middle, easiest way is to figure out where the middle is of anything is to fold it in half. Okay. So she's going to go about there. Huh? Like that. And then she'll go there. Let's glue her down because we know that's where she goes. I love how you made a frame out of that, May. I just love it. I think it's yeah. beautiful. Thank you. It's very cute. Very pretty. Very shabby. Karen, do you want to show us what you're working on? Nope. 
Come on, Karen. It's blurry. Oh, I don't you know. You know, I have the two in the. It's very blurry. In the YouTube, it looks okay. But in the Hangout, when I see you, it's a little blurry. No, they're saying it's blurry. Yeah, it's blurry. May's usually clearer than that. I don't know what. Yeah, it's a little. Hold on. But YouTube's been a little iffy lately. I think they're working on the back end again. They're working on the to charge us for it. <laughs> well, somebody needs to be writing up some code and 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 making a different YouTube then. Yeah. Yeah, I um I just unplugged my camera, so it is YouTube. It's not having to do with my camera. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Don't that would be a it. bad thing for them to try and charge people like us for doing that because it'd be too easy to do it in Facebook. Yeah. Well, I do apologize. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this frame. I'm just going to stick my um, little fussy cutting scissors, and we're going to pretend that um we're cutting paper and we're gonna outline right around here make a little window Yes, I got an area clean and organized. Well, you should be. That's going on 24 hours. <laughs> I know, but I, I need to. She needs to make this videos more often so I can sit here and, <laughs> and, and clean and organize. My room is clean. It's not dirty. It's yeah, just that help I have a lot of help that boxes home. and things in boxes that I don't know what is in what are in them that's on youtube guys like um side ladies so refreshing and stuff is not going to make a difference it's whatever they're working on the back end of youtube so this is the best we can do for right now yeah i i do i'm sorry it's i've tried everything i don't know what's wrong with it hi miss sue how are hi, you doing? Okay. Yes, Judy. I had a I have a place for my buttons. Don't try to take me. I'm not gonna get rid of them. Hi, Sharon. Or yeah, Shannon. It's Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Sue. Oh, bandwidth. Let's see the bandwidth. Nope. No. Nope. No, because I was watching. Somebody last night too, May. It was at night, and um, it kicked them completely out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm fixing the bandwidth. It's not. It's not working either. Um, Penny says if you can zoom in a little, a little bit. Zoom in. Yeah, get a bit, a little bit closer. So she can see the the. What are you doing with the? There you go. Okay, so I cut out a frame from this little applique, and I have that placed right there, and I'll lift her up so you can see. So there's the little hole I cut out, and I'm going to place her right around there. I love that. And we're going to go ahead. I like to hold it in place and then just glue around it. Looks like the little appliques of flower on her head. Uh huh. Oh, my chair is starting to get squeaky. Oh, you need DW40 or what is it? WD40. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those appliques are gorgeous. Okay, okay, and then let's do a little bit of touch here and there. 
making sure we got it all covered up nicely. And then she looks like that. Pretty, huh? It's I think it's beautiful. Yes. It's so pretty. It looks like a little girl dress. Good, doesn't it? And okay, you questions. take care, Judy. Have a good trip. Be safe. Yes, safe travels. Be safe, hon. Be careful on those roads. Very careful. Okay, so here's probably about a yard, a yard of seam binding. And those of you guys that ordered the January kit has this seam binding in your kit. Two tails. Can you hear Karen talking? She's talking. Oh, can you hear me? <laughs> the whispering is Karen talking to herself about measurements. I'm sorry, guys. No, oh, not a problem. Okay, so we're going to put that there. Bend your little, I always say the little um, ears, bunny ears. And then I got a little cluster, and you can put a button. You can put uh, a brooch, whatever. Definitely don't have to do it exactly like mine because you're not going to find the laces like mine, but you can get an idea of how to do this. Okay. And then I got these pretty little flowers. It will hide the handle straps. Good night, Shannon. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yes. Good night. Okay. Shannon is from the UK. So she is at like maybe what? Two or three in the morning? Let's see. Eight o'clock here. So it's two in the morning there. Yeah, it's late over there. So thank you for attempting to come out here and hang out with us late nighters. Okay. There is that. Now, the last thing I do is I get these little Velcro from from Amazon and I like it because it's I get a big pack not a small little pack from Joann's and then I want to go ahead and put that there in the center put one on top of the other 2.09 in the morning my gosh Velcro and there's our little bag no so cute so here's our hanger. I got these at Joann's, and I think I told you guys that the other day. But you can get those at Joann's. Uh, you can tell the UK ladies in the house they're putting the time out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I have my camera on. And I'm just going to use my favorite, favorite chalk paint, which is the sheepskin and let me get an old paintbrush because I am notorious 
for damaging paintbrushes. Are you going to stamp on it, May? Yeah, I don't know if I'll stamp on it. I might. I may not. I don't know. Who knows? I normally stencil on these. Oh, okay. But I don't know what I'm going to do. I think a, um, um, a little uh, stamp. A stamp with writing. I can't think of what it's called. Oh, yeah. We can do that. I think that would look awful cute with that. Hi. Oh, it's great to meet you. Oh Just my press and hold the Bixby key whenever you need me. I'll my, respond yeah. to your voice or text. Oh, my phone got uh, activated with Bix Bixby. What the? Here are all of the languages what I is can that? speak. Let me know which one you'd like. I'd like a green purple one, please. <laughs> Don't talk. This thing is possess. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't understand the new bot, this new phone. That's why I don't like phones. Big Bixby? Is that like the Apple that has Siri? I have no idea what that is because you're talking to someone whose phone not. Yeah, and I don't even have one, so I don't have a clue. I have to yeah, talk I've been, to my I've been telling Eric I keep that scare me. That oh, scared the phone. hell out of me. Harley used my phone, so I've been talking talking to him because every time we have Sprint here, and every time we go out of town, my phone doesn't even work anyway. So I just tell him, I don't even know why I have a phone. When I'm home, I hardly use it. I'm on the computer, but I need to talk to somebody. So my friends, um, where I went for Christmas, they got the Walmart phone whatever that network is and um they they're real happy with it they said that phone works all over just like they're on the verizon tower still yeah these hangers i got them from joann's in the unfinished wood section um and if you guys can see my i, I don't know if you guys like this Tim Holtz Ranger heat gun. I hate I hate it. It takes forever. You gotta have a lot of patience, and I I run out of patience with that darn thing. Um all right, so we're gonna These are cute little hangers. And I'm going to go ahead and do the metal just because. I'm not muted, am I? I'm sorry, May. I'm not meaning to make noises. I'm muting. That's okay. Good night, Lynn. Thank you for joining us. Yes, good night. Night, Lynn. Is that our Lynn? It's Lynn Tresidern. Night, Lynn. I'm going to keep my paintbrush in there because I got to paint a, uh, an embroidery hoop right after this. Oh, Miss Kateri Cochran. I hope she's doing well. I know she sent me a message the other day. Okay, so that's that. 
I got these embroidery hoops and we could probably do a tutorial. Um, let's say Monday, we can do a tutorial on how I do a, a, an embroidery hoop, make it shabby chic. Um, so if you guys want to pick up these embroidery hoops, I'm going to paint mine. I bought them for a dollar. I have to get one. I think I have one. I just got to find it. <laughs> Hangers made out of pearls. You have to share some pictures, Miss Carol. What she have? She's got, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this right here. Uh, she's got hangers made out of pearls. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen hangers made out of pearls. But eBay, she got them off of eBay. Yeah, that's what she said. Were they from China, Miss Carol, or U.S.? And so randomly, Penny wishes she had a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cookie, Miss Penny? <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to paint my hoop so I get advanced. I'm going to I'm going to do one of these. And if you guys want to join me on Monday, I don't think I have anything going on. We can do an embroidery hoop, shabby chic style, since you guys are having withdrawals. Carol said no. Um, she uses them for her corsets. Ooh. So, all right, enough of this, because, you know, I've gotten off, off the subject, right? Because we were supposed to be working on... Um, this is a little preview of our next tutorial. Pre preview of your next project. Yes, a little preview. So, so if you're not doing anything on, um, I know Miss Yvonne says she's retiring this year. If you're not doing anything Monday night, you can join me, same channel, same time, same place. And we'll do an embroidery hoop. So get your embroidery hoops out and we'll... When? Monday. Monday. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I no, Monday I, night, I won't be here. I don't think I have anything going on. No, Wednesday, I have a date with Miss Jacqueline Huff. Okay. We're not available Wednesday. She and I have a date. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be a sneak preview of what you guys can uh, I want you guys to get an embroidery hoop. Doesn't have to be an expensive one, guys. Okay. Nothing, you expensive. Use one. Nothing expensive. All right. Typically, I take my um, wax and I apply a coat of wax over that. Let's see if I find it. I don't know. I think I may. Oh, here it is. Here's my wax. You know, when I went crazy a while back, I might have tossed it. <laughs> so let me see if I find this thing now. Oh, look, I didn't toss it. Just okay. look calm and easy. You'll find it. Here we go. Just I like trying the buttercream wax clear. And... Um, I'm pretty sure I'm using some really expensive paint brushes that I shouldn't be using. So let's find a cheap paint brush. Why does that not clean off your brush? It does clean off my brushes, but um, I, I like to use the cheap ones. I don't like to use anything expensive. Oh. Hold on, give me a second. You guys entertain them. Guys, entertain them. Huh? Nobody wants that. Yvonne said she's going to craft all day long. Uh, I don't know if it's the same time. Oh, end of the month. Congratulations, Yvonne.
So has anybody been crafting today? What have you been working on today? I like using old paint brushes for anything. Sorry. I have a scrap of lunch. I don't like using anything that's really expensive. Oh, thank you, Miss Carol. Hi, Joyce. Okay. Yes, Miss Miss Karen has a contagious laughter. I like it when she starts snorting. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna apply a thin coat of this. We'll heat heat it up, heat dry it. I don't want to put too much, too too thick of a layer, where it takes too long to dry. Ooh, Supulan is cleaning out her craft room too. Is she? And just started the January kit. Woohoo! Woohoo! Can't wait to see what you guys create with that one. Still got to make my other pages on the fabric. I got so, you see, I get so sidetracked with so many ideas that are coming through my head that um, I said last night I started working on that calendar piece. And I was determined to get that done. I can't wait to see your purge, Yansu. Yes, yes. You fin you're finishing up. Did you get did you get the same piece, Yansu? <laughs> did you get the um did you get pick up the um um the little bag or another little bag? Sierra, are you feeling better, hon? I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, she had a little bit of a um Stomach virus, right, Sierra? Hi, Happy Ray. How are you? Well, Hello, Happy Ray. Uh oh, Karen Thompson's craft room is expanding to other rooms. <laughs> that sounds like someone else I know that's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Angela. <laughs> Angela. <laughs> okay, I'm guilty. I admit it. I, I think that's called hoarding. <laughs> yes. Oh, the pretty like my husband. Ooh, pretty. My husband what? says I'm an episode away oh. from going into hoarders. Are you? How do you no. feel? Tell tell us how do you feel? <laughs> how do I feel? I feel happy surrounded of craft. Do you, do you think your husband's exaggerating? Maybe. I think my husband exaggerates. I, well, although I don't have anywhere near the amount that I used to, but I know you have a lot, but I don't think I have anywhere near the amount you have. But remember, it's an accumulation of 20 years here. Emotional hoarders. Yes, that's what we are. Emotional hoarders. Well, I can't no, afford no emotional crap going on. And, and Joy says we gather. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. We gather. Well, now we may gather. <laughs> okay. So the idea is to get this where it's not so tacky. And Robotic, we Meg. Huh? Robotic. Fifty years here. Oh, 50 years of collecting, Miss Mary Lou. May, does that uh, wax dry with you heating it? Yeah. Huh. 
It sure does. I've never worked with it. I've never used it. I'm thinking it that that's not like a beeswax wax that I'm thinking of. No, no, it's not. Be beeswax will melt. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this is this is a buttercream water, water base seals and protects. It's, it's like a sealant. Oh, okay. And then you use your buttercream antiquing wax, which is a stain. And for that, we have a handy dandy little baby wipe. And we'll use one of my grungy, grungy, very grungy. I can't express how grungy. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very beyond grunginess. <laughs> you can tell it's driving her crazy. <laughs> um, brush. And we're just going to apply it. And wipe it. Have you guys seen me do tutorials on how I've done this before? Nothing new. Jody, hello, Jody. Hey, Hi, Jody. Jody. And you can sand this down. And um, I am going to tell you right now, I would have sanded it down. I do have a son who came up and was meeting my sand block. And needless to say, it did not come back. So. I blame my son that I could not sand this down, but I would normally typically sand the, the wear and tear on some of the edges. So blame my son for that, ladies, okay? Yes, because him. I remember you giving him specific instructions to bring it back because you needed it. Oh, you re you remember, you were here. See, I, I wasn't imagining anything. <laughs> no. it, wasn't, it wasn't just me. I did, in fact, tell my son that. Okay, so we're going to find a... Let's find a stamp that we can use for that. We can use a stencil. We can use um, a stamp. Let's see. I don't have anything that says anything free. Huh? Here, Telegram. We'll use this Tim Holtz one. And it's new. Woohoo. May um, and Carmen is saying hello. Hello, Carmen. Hi, hello, Carmen. Carmen. How are you? Okay. So this should fit. And if not, if it runs out, that is perfectly okay because. It's mine and no one has to, you know, criticize it other than myself. Well, that's what makes it look part of the shabby too. Yep. I like that. Okay, so we're gonna use that and we're gonna use a stays on. Let me find it. We'll use brown. Well, let's see if I have black. Sure, I had a black one somewhere once upon a time in a far, far away land. I had a black one. And then you had kids. <laughs> no, and then I destashed it. Okay, so we're going to use brown. It's okay. Well, brown will match in with those vintage laces. Yeah. The black just popped out better. So we're using a stays on because it's more permanent. And this is um, Telegram. So we're going to go right in there.
and I've done it with stencils, but I take a stencil and my little Martha Stewart um, what do you call those little bristle brushes? Mm -hmm. Stencil brush. Yep. Oh, that's pretty. Look. Yeah, see, I love that. Cool. It's 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 a little bit. I want to do the back. My camera's blurry. You really can't see it. I do apologize for that. I'm sorry. I owe you guys another video tutorial on something. That's why we're going to do something. Monday. Something, something. We're going to do something, something on Monday. Oh, pretty. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that effect a okay. lot. So that is my hanger. And she shall go like that on there. And you can add a little tassel. And I grabbed some... Um, this, I picked this up at a, um, this yarn at a thrift store last year and it nearly made it out to the trash can um, when I was tossing things out and I picked it up and said, you know what, we're going to do something with you. So I'm glad I did. So I did a little tassel. I just ran a little bit over and over. I mixed some of that chopped up lace that I had some of that uh, crochet yarn and I made a little tassel and I already have a little bow that I made and we're gonna probably attach that just like so on our little hanger okay so first we're gonna run this is about four inches wide and about I don't know I ran around my hand several times so i would say six inches take a six inch piece wrap it around several times or maybe eight inches and then you get that little tassel bit and then we're going to get our little uh, bunny ears pushed back And then there she rides. There she rides, okay? All right, so that's that. Now, if you have potpourri, um, like the sachet ones that I just showed you guys, you can tuck that in there. Although, like I said, these don't smell like anything. Um, I really don't like the way that smells. It doesn't have a whole lot of fragrance. But you can tuck those in there. Just like so. Mm -hmm. You can even dress these up prettier and make this prettier. I don't want to do that because this is this is this is gonna be tossed. This doesn't live long. And I'm not wasting lace on this. That's gonna be replaced. That I won't do. That's a waste of money and a waste of lace, so I won't do that. Um, but what we can do is we're going to grab some lavender. And we can grab, um, you know, you can grab a piece of fabric or anything you have. We have this here. And I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. No, this was... This was um, Joanne Fabrics. I think it was $4.99. Oh, and we're just going to make a little sachet package. And this is another piece of fabric that I picked up at Joanne's. Yeah. 
And my, my scissors are a little bit dull. And who do I blame? I love my children. That's all I have to say. I love my children. So on these, you can put a little bit of oil, um, a little fragrance on there. Um, and you can make them however you want. I'm just going to make a little pouch, glue it. You don't want to use really expensive stuff because... Um, you're going to be... Is she calling us lady, lady? Yeah, I'm calling us cheap. <laughs> okay, Mary okay. Lou, Lou, can you put can some you essential, essential oils, oils on some, on some cotton bars and put them in a little gauze bag that I need in there? Yes, you can. Absolutely. You really can. Um, this is like fra this is a lavender that I picked up at one of the whole uh, what is it whole food stores and I'm just gonna fold and it does seep through because it's not perfectly. Oh, she says she refreshes her Christmas potpourri in a bag all the time with essential oils, and it refreshes it, and it lasts for the entire year. Oh, wow. So it's inexpensive to do that. I should do that with cotton. That'd be good to do with cotton. Yeah, that's a, that's a good tip. Or the polyfill. She said cotton balls. Okay. And wonder put it in a little gauze bag. Wonder if it will work with the um, like you know how you have the polyfill. I can't think of what that is off the top of my head. The polyfill is like a cotton that you use for stuffing stuff. Because I'm about to stuff this baby. That's the polyfill. So I'm gonna actually do that. Thank you for the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this back in here and put some. Oh, the batting. Yeah, the batting. Okay, yeah. The batting, polyfill. What do you call it? What, batting? Yeah. I don't know. I don't saw. <laughs> I don't know. Angela, Angela was traumatized by her husband's um, sewing career. Her husband uh, damaging his suit uh, suitcase. Um, sewing machine. His sewing machine. Yeah. And now Thank she God Judy is not here. If she knows he saw, is don't do quilting. Oh my God! I will have to give him all my buttons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to do that. We're going to um, stuff this up with some polyfill, which is almost like cotton. I have some essential oil. What is this one? Clove. Probably not as pretty as lavender, but that's what I had here because my daughter had it laying here. I can't do lavender. It gives me such a headache. Headache, yeah. It does to some people. I like oils though. Some I, I love some all I it out. That's for sure. Love the smell of mulberry. Didn't put too much so it's not so overpowering. And 
then you make a mess and then you clean it. You want to sew, you can sew it. I'm just going to do it this way. Nothing fancy for me today as far as this little potpourri thingy. And then to make it fancy, we'll put it in here. So let's go ahead and flip this around. If you want to sew this, you could sew it. I would actually sew if I wasn't on video to make it pretty. <clears throat> Karen is talking again. Yeah, she's whispering. Karen's trying to figure out which papers are going where on front and back cover. Okay, you need to share what you're making with us. A mini album. I know that. <laughs> you're sounding a little testy there, me Larson. Yeah, I know you're making a mini album. That smells good. <clears throat> did you put too much? I heard you coughing. Nope, I didn't cough. Oh, okay. I thought you did. Oh, no coughing here. You can run this through your sewing machine and sew it up. You guys know what what to do at this point. And that is it, ladies. That Let's is talk for a minute. And let me get this page on me and I'll show it. Karen's gonna show us her album, ladies. It's not finished. Well, but we at least we'll see what you're working on. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that that's my little version of making a non sewable sachet not the prettiest one in the world but definitely usable and practical <clears throat> and it smells mm, it smells like clothes i like the smell of clothes but i can smell the lavender in there and it's not so overpowering smell it. oh <laughs> she doesn't like it <laughs> okay so then we can tuck that in there oh my little velcro did not want to stay Oh, no. Oh, no, yes. My Velcro did not want to stay. No, my bottle just ran out of glue. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good thing. So we can tuck that in there. We can and see that I use a really a cheap, affordable stuff because if I want to toss this out, I can toss it out and not feel once the smells come out. Or since we did put the cotton, like Mary Lou said, we can keep uh, dropping some drops of oils in there. So I won't feel broke or hurt if I um, if I have to toss that out. All right. So there we have it. We're done. Show you the bag right here. There's the bag. And here's the hanger. We use the Tim Holtz stamp. And there you have it. You can hang it in your bathroom, in your closet, and um, any part of your home. Very affordable, I think. I think the hangers, I wanna say, because I bought that last year, I wanna say they were like 250. It wasn't very expensive. Um, I bought the book Potpourri when they were like, three for a couple dollars no more there's a pack of three for five dollars maybe i don't know and the bag of course as miss tori told us it was about 80 cents and of course all the little vintage laces i had laying them around for a while here um it wasn't too expensive to make this project Okay?
world. Yes, it looks beautiful. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we're gonna put the camera at Karen. <laughs> And Karen is going to show us what she's working on. And don't forget, if you want to uh, join me on Monday to make a hoop, um, join me Monday. Same place, same time. We'll make a hoop together. And maybe next weekend we have everything ready so we can work on the suitcase. And if you guys are interested in me doing a tutorial on this one, let me know. And we'll work on a tutorial on how to make that. Hold on a minute, guys. Let me get this. My bottle running out of glue threw me off. I had to fill her back up. Got to find where I put that stamp. Iliana, ¿cómo estás? Hola, Iliana. Dice que ya puede entrar. Me... She just can get in now. Ay, Iliana is connecting uh, with us through Costa Rica. She's the one that sent me the delicious Costa Rican crackers that um, I finished eating today. <laughs> yeah. The ones that you said are slightly sweet, but not too sweet. Right, they're perfect. They're just not overly sweet. Ya me comí la galleta, Eliana. Fui mala, fui malvada. No la compartí con nadie. Me las comí toda y ya se me acabaron. Eliana has been sending me crackers and coffee from Costa Rica since 2011. Every time she comes to the States, she brings me coffee and crackers. Um, and it's so sweet of her to do that. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess. All right. Let's put the camera on, Karen. Oh, I got to turn mine on. Hey, guys. Um, don't mind the mess. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be. But here's the start of the album. I just glued this on. Um, there's the inside. Um, I'm using... Oh, what is it? Couture... Couture Creations paper pad. Ooh, I've never seen that paper line. Yeah, I like it. And here are, like, this will be the first page. And then here's the second page. Uh, let me say first, second. And then here's the, I like my stuff to match up. So I always try and color coordinate. So I did that like that. And then this will be the back. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four. I did five in this album. Um, and let me see. But I'm going to, and I'm not sure, but I think it will. I'm going to ask you why I got you here, man. Let me put, let me just slide this one page in. So They're all saying nice, Karen, very pretty. Don't forget Monday night, same time. Yes, don't forget Monday night, same time, same place. We're going to do a hoop together. So gather your hoops, gather your laces, and your chalk paint. Go okay. Ahead. What do you think here? Well, it won't stay in. This is my first page, though, right? This when you yeah. open this up, this is going to be on the inside cover. Um, You know me. I love my pockets. And uh -huh. I want that paper for the pocket. Is that too busy? No. No, I think it's perfect. Okay. Okay. Because it coordinates with that side, that picture in the side. Yeah, and these are pocket pages, guys, and it's nothing fancy because um, the friend that I am making this for, um, when she saw my mom's album, it it, it sort of confused her of uh, pictures in it. So I'm just making this as simple as can be, where she can just slap a picture on top of it, you know, get her a little glue runner and uh -huh. flat because she just had her first um, great grandbaby. Oh, so um, last year, um, I think she's a couple months old now. So this album is for, is for her for that. And then on the front, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do on the front, but she is, um, 
I know Cross will be going in the middle of it. One of those that you sent me, May. Oh, cool. So, I like it. They're all liking it. Oh, uh, thank you. And when I get it done, um, I'll do one on my, I'll show and tell on, um, on my channel. I may even finish it up one day this week and go live and do it. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We're keeping you guys busy with tutorials. Again, if there's any tutorials that you guys want us to try to attempt, challenge us. I, I, I ask for a challenge. Just, you know, tell us what it is you guys want to see. What is it you guys want to see this year um, as far as tutorials? And we'll see if we can do it or if we can't. We can't, then I don't know what to say. If but we can't, at least we tried. At least we tried, exactly. Yeah. We do the best we can. Yes. We'll try to figure it out how it was made um, and go from there. We'll give it our best. So um, what are you working on? You're still organizing, Miss um, Angela? I am um, organizing this area so I can make this space so I can have a uh, my area to do the tutorial there we go at least there's now i can walk there's now there's not in any, any boxes on the floor <laughs> good night miss gloria yeah i can see gloria. my wood floor i can see my wood floor you can see the floor she was telling me today she couldn't see her floors um miss cindy bigby says she loves the paper karen i've never seen the couture line i don't know i don't think i've ever tried it is it really good quality paper or is it um no it, it it's good paper it's it's I've, I've had a lot thinner paper but it's not like graphic to me it's not like graphic 45 thickness oh and authentic is thicker than graphic 45 i think yeah um so then would you say it's like a kaiser craft thickness mm, it could be yeah yeah, okay. because it's not real thin like the, um, you know, the Dovecraft. Um, I can't think of that one line where it's just printed on one side. Uh huh. It's not thin like that. It's but it is up a couple steps from it. Oh, well, maybe she's talking about that that one that you asked me for. Um, Scrap Berry. No. Berry. No. No. Um, Dovecraft has a cheaper. Cheaper version. Yes. Okay. You, it, May, you just don't remember it. Uh, Yvonne says, how does it smell, Karen? Tell us. No. Well, right now I sort of got sinuses. Um, this did have a smell, but it's not um, graphic 45. Would you like to smell it, May? Why are they asking do you like to smell paper? I love to <laughs> yes. smell graphic 45. Graphic 45 smells good. Yeah, she smells, she she has a habit of um, smelling paper. Good night, Miss Carmen. Thank you for joining Good us. Good night, Carmen. Um, so you would say it smells, um, it smells like paper. No. Well, no. you're not alone. You know, when I used to, oh. when, when I used to um, do a lot of crafting that I used to go to crops and buy a packet of paper, I love that smell when you open the package and you yeah. can smell the paper. Yeah. And I miss that because now they comes, most of them comes in, in pads before they used to come like, like those kits that they sell now. Yeah. But graphic 45, if you cut that tape, that clear tape off and start flipping a new pad, don't buy an older generation, a new pad. You will smell that ink. That's what made me sniff it the first time ever. Yeah, I, it's the I ink. I love it. it. And it just hit my face, and I was like, what smells good? <laughs> huh? That's right. That's what it happens that. And I'm talking about 15 years ago when they used to make the paper, that they used good quality paper, they used good ink. And when you open, you get that, you know, it just hits you, that smell of the ink. And my friends will say, what are you sniffing at? I says, it's new paper. 
Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, Karen Thompson wants to know, Karen Stencil, what is your favorite color? Honestly, I don't know. You know, my daughter was asking me the same question. I don't think I... Because I'm drawn to all different colors and stuff. I know um, I'm drawn more towards pastel colors. Yeah, me too. <coughs> me too, for sure. And I'm like, you know, this pad, it's, I, I fell in love with this paper pad. If I could have got it in a 12 by 12, I would have for some of them. Um, but this one is, you know, it has the deeper mauves and, you know, the deeper, like the moss greens. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. I can't. I literally can't give you a color that's my favorite, you know, but I do like pastels awful well. I do too. I like pastels. I, I mean, I, I like ivories. I like the, I, I like pink, but it has to be like a light pink. I don't want a pink that's pop, you know, jumping out yeah. of my feet. Like that kind yeah. of pink. I don't think I, I, I can't, I don't like too much. Um, yeah. I just, not that I don't like colors and I love aqua. I like light, light blue, like baby soft sky blue, I guess I should say. Still now, see, I'm the opposite in that. I'd rather have, you know, the, um, I don't know if this will make any sense, the deep gem blues. Mm -hmm. I, like I like that it. rich kind of color of a blue, but I, now, well, I guess I could say I'm not big in the blue line myself. Yeah, see, I, 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 the only blue I like if it's like a sky, baby, baby, soft blue. Um, almost oh. going yeah. off of teal or aqua. Yeah, yeah, because I like that. Bye, blue Sue. Green. Bye, Miss Sue. Good night. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Night, Sue. Okay, so I have my hoop. Painted and ready to go. Carol Lop Red. Carol, you know what, Miss Carol? My mom used to dress me up. I don't know what she was thinking. She would dress me up with a lot of red. And she loved red and black. She, like a lot of her decors either had red and black, hunter green. Um, she loved ivory and beige. But her bathroom, she always said, I want a bathroom with red and Red and black, and when she bought her house, that's how she made her bedroom. Red and black was her bathroom. Huh. Um, but I, she would dress me up in red, and I could not stand red. Yeah, red I don't. And, like. and fuchsia, fuchsia, I can pronounce it. Fuchsia, fuchsia. Uh huh. And I can't pull off a red lipstick either. Yeah, I can't either. I could pull off red nails. I could do that. I can eat, I use red lipstick. Oh, I can't. But I'm not a not not a bright bright red. It's a more mute, you know, kind of like little darker red, not an apple red. Uh-huh. Because with my color of hair, it it pops. Do you think that red would look good on me, Miss Mary Jo? Dark, your dark hair and red would be, oh, are me or Karen? Because Karen would probably look okay with uh, red. I think you will look good in red. It depends what kind of red you use. That's There's what my mom would say. I, I am not going to, I'm going to tell you right now, I think she was wrong. I did not like red. I just, her and this obsession with me wearing red was just not right. Well, I can tell you something. My favorite colors, I, I, I was, I'm a Tim Holtz fan. I have everything Tim Holtz, and I don't think I'm never going to get rid of anything of Tim Holtz. And I'm a grungy crafter. I got kind of gothic. And you guys in this group, and Mae Larson and Karen, have changed me to become a shabby chic pastel colors. Ladies, can you wait a minute? We have to pause for a minute. We have to interrupt the service announcement. We have to do this. Because can you believe it? She wants to blame me for the laces. Am I to blame? Do you think I should? Let's take a poll here. Is it my fault now? I not, yes. Is it my so fault? That's two to one. You're outnumbered. Good night, Miss Cindy. 
<laughs> Bye, Cindy. You think Miss Mary Lou says that she thinks I look good in red. I'll try wearing red lipstick one of these days and I'm gonna show you what I, I look want, I want Carla to do your makeup one day and you come and do I'll have her. I'll have her do um a lipstick a makeover for me and show you guys. Makeover but to see and I will be able to see that Carla is your clone. Carla, no, she's not my clone. She looks like you. No, she's too dark. She's I'm too dark to, to she be. She looks a lot like May, but May is a clone of her mom. I'm a clone of my son looks a lot like me, but he also looks like my mom. No, I think I think she looks a lot like you, but I don't think she looks as much like you as you look like your mom. Yeah, I do look like my mother. My eyes, okay. Yeah, yeah, she has her, to do one of those eyes. pretty makeup that she does on Instagram. You should be her canvas. She was a February. Uh, okay. Oh, you didn't like shabby chic. No, I never said I didn't like shabby chic. I said I don't like stuff real frou frou. May didn't do anything frou frou tonight. She doesn't do anything frou frou. She doesn't like frou frou, ladies. <laughs> okay, I'll try red. I like, I like shabby chic. I just don't like it as fluffy as you guys like, if that makes any sense. It makes sense. Okay, so this paper is the one that um, Jackie Heichel gave me. She has January. I don't know if you guys because it's kind of blurry. Yeah. So I'm going to use it here for my little album. I'm excited about that. Really am. So, okay. And Jody says she loves Fru Fru. Yeah, I can only handle Fru Fru to a point. You can only handle it to a certain point. Yeah, you know me. I'd be, I, I would be the one that'd be going <gasps> all over the place. <laughs> so we sent you a tutu that was too frou frou for you. No, a tutu would be okay, May, but you would not be able to stop with the tutu. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you got done tutuing me, <laughs> that tutu would be down to my knees. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should do that maybe we should put a tutu on karen what do you guys think maybe we should all send her a tutu all of us add something to the tutu and send it to karen oh my gosh all of us decorate take grab a tutu and send it to each other and all of us add a piece of something to that tutu and send it to karen and have her wear it on video yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Why not, Karen? I don't Ms. know. Carol says she thinks so. We should all take a tutu and decorate it for you. We can't argue with Miss Carol. And George will probably never talk to me again if I try it with him. And Jackie says she dares me. Uh oh. We're going to have to try to get this tutu going. <laughs> with some fairy with fairy wings. <laughs> Karen. What do you think, Karen? She, she's about to smack. She's about to smack me. <laughs> I am not talking to you. <laughs> Karen. You can't say that. Who am I gonna talk to then? Angela? Defend me here, Angela. And Karen Thompson says, I could send her my Tutu Ballerina album. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. As long as I don't have to. <laughs> there you go. Should I say challenge accepted if I find a, a, a Tutu big enough for Karen? No. <laughs> yes, you have to. I know where you can find it. <laughs> um, Iliana, estoy trabajando en un calendario, um, un calendario que hice 
y va en una cajita así. Este calendario se sienta aquí, en la cajita. Entonces la cajita tiene su gavetita. <laughs> It says, Miss Carol says, I thought we were the same age. Eh, va quedando bonito. Este, cuando yo termine, te mando un de estos para que lo veas cómo quedó. Liliana, visité tu país. Vives en un país hermoso. Tuve la oportunidad de ir a Costa Rica. Quería a Costa Rica. Esa es la otra rica. Está Puerto Rico, está Costa Rica. Oh, well, Miss Carol, soon to be 78. Oh, my God. Who is going to make you send you ballerina shoes, Karen? Ah, they're all for it. Pues cuando estuve en Costa Rica, uh, hace, hace yeah. como unos 20 años. 100 años atrás. 20 años porque mi hermano estaba en el Air Force y estaba destacado en Panamá y fuimos en una de visita a Costa Rica. Me acuerdo de unas carretas que ustedes tienen bien bonitas que las decoran con pintura y todavía yo tengo esa carreta. They make a beautiful, beautiful, it's like a, a, me imagino que ha cambiado mucho, pero aún así está hermo, era hermoso. Sí, son típicas, yo tengo la mía todavía, tiene veintipico de años y todavía la tengo. So it's it's Shannon John. We're gonna find a tutu that's big enough for Karen. I know where you can find well. Really? And you know what? Karen, I know the color. Because I'm gonna and Sue, you make the ballerina shoe from for her. I will touch faces with you what color. I will get her headpiece. I am not dressing up. <laughs> I'm telling y'all right now. You want me to hang it on the wall? I'll hang it on the wall, but I am not wearing it. But you're willing to go in your backyard and and sunbathe. And <laughs> I live out in the boonies. I am a half hour from town. Thank you very much. But I'll have you know, I did not even own a dress until I got saved. Really. You think you're Gracias, Iliana. Gracias. Igualmente a ti. Si vienes por estos lugares, yo vivo en Arizona. Bienvenida. Mi casa es tu casa. Jody, you go sit in the corner. Go to the <laughs> shut up corner, Jody. <laughs> red Toto. <laughs> well, Carl won Red Toto. Well, Red Tutu is better than make it lacy as possible. <laughs> No, I have the perfect color because th she has some Irish on her. I'm so if that gives you a, a hint of what color. So, so. Oh my goodness. En que parte de Arizona viven tus suegros? Los suegros de la hija de su esposo. De la hija, de tu hija. De la hija de su esposo. I Bye, love Mary Seattle. Lou. Have a good night. Good night, Miss Mary Lou. Take care, Mary Lou. I'm a Seahawk fan, Mary Lou. Oh, look, Jody says, hey, I can use red and black laces to Karen. <laughs> oh, May. You know, someday this will come back to bite you. 
<risa> ah, está, está bien. Pues si oh. vienes por, por estos lugares, sabes que tienes tu casa aquí. Oh, Kiki, we were just working on, let's see, hold on. Kiki, it says, you got it. Oh, hear me. What paper pad is that? Um, this is Great the graphic. <laughs> This is the Graphic 45 Children's Hours Collection, um, Kiki. And I'm just making, I did, um, Mer Melanie uh, Santiago, uh, Flair by Me, she did a little calendar, but I went and did a little calendar with a drawer. And um, I'm working on that, inspired by Melanie. And Karen's good all excited night. about it. Good night, Seema. So we're all going to be getting um, we're all going to be getting a tutu, ballerina shoes, and some fairy wings. Oh, me, Larson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm the enabler, Angela. Thank you. Do you got a lot of buttons, Kiki? Did Kiki get buttons? Yes. <laughs> okay, so. Kiki got buttons yesterday. She went shopping for buttons yesterday. De nada, Ileana, de nada. I've known Ileana since 2011. And a crown. Oh, Miss Carol threw in the crown, Karen. Oh, bless her. <laughs> Carol, it's going to have pearls like your hanger? Yeah, pearls. We need to add pearls in there. Oh no, she likes them. She calls them diamantes. It's the diamantes. She likes rhinestones and diamantes. I like pearls too. Okay, okay. So see, she's agreeing on this. You guys heard her. Hey. Agree on the tutu ballerina and the crown with pearls. I did not. I just heard it come out of you. No, you just I heard me say I like the toot or the um <laughs> the head thing. What goes on the head? See, she says she likes the tutu. No. <laughs> you all heard it. She likes the tutu. <laughs> oh gosh, I thought you loved me. <laughs> we love you. We do uh, love you. That's why we want to get you a tutu, fairy wings, and a crown. You are trying to turn me into a frou frou girl. <laughs> if you guys don't know Karen uh, Stencil very well, she grew up with boys, her brothers. Uh, she was the only. She's the oldest and the only girl besides her mother. <laughs> and she grew up in a farm, right? Yeah. So fru fru is not in her vocabulary, <laughs> but she likes she likes laces. She likes laces, so we can add laces in there, make it really fru fru. Give me patience, sir. Lord, please give me patience. <laughs> She's praying now, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be supportive and we're gonna use Yvonne, I swear I will put you in timeout. <laughs> leotards. That's right, we gotta get the leotards. I've never even heard of them since I was in sixth grade. <laughs> Jody says I know she likes eyelet lace. I have tons of it. <laughs> yes, I love eyelet. I do. I have um I have some <laughs> Pilot material. And, and Kiki says crinoline. Crinoline. Oh my God. I used to have a dress of that. That itches. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. It's a material. My mom did a dress. Oh my God. So we, it's almost like mesh, right? It's just, I don't, I don't even remember. It's just make your your um your dress be more poofy yeah it's like a mesh kind of material mm -hmm. i hated it 
And here, Joy, Joe, Joy says, don't forget the full body suit. Who said that? Joyce. I don't know who you are, Joyce, but you're not on the good list. <laughs> to make and so crinoline to make the tutu more puffy. <laughs> yeah, Kiki, don't make me kick you out either. <laughs> And Jody says, I remember that, Karen. I even have some in pink. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I used to like you. You used to be one of my favorites, hon. <laughs> <laughs> Joy says, may pray for me. <laughs> oh, my God. You know that I bought one of those slips? from the 50s and a thrift store for a Halloween night. I need to read what Miss Carol wrote. I have some I, of, I wear can one. Can one of those can can, 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 can slips. What is that? <laughs> what are you guys doing to me? <laughs> I ain't no ho-ho. I, I, I think the can cans are better than the tutu. What is, I got to look that up. <laughs> I bought one in the thrift store because I wanted to be, for Halloween, I needed to be one of those girls from the thrift Oh. You remember that they put it underneath their skirt? It's like a petticoat for the 50s. Yes. yes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you there you go. See, 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 she believes she wants this tutu. No, I want that cane can. <laughs> I'll put me a pink poodle on that baby. Yeah, my dress has my skirt has a dress uh poodle on my on my skirt. And my skirt was like a teal color. And I, I agree with Kiki. I like the, the crinoline because um she's gonna be itchy all the way down. <laughs> oh, me Larson. I will cut that out. <laughs> Kiki insists that crinoline is better. I I, I agree with Kiki. I can no. just imagine Karen with all that frou frou stuff and then scratch. <laughs> now you know I come ripping out of that thing. You know I would. <laughs> There's no way. I'm a cotton kind of girl. I like my cotton. <laughs> I can just imagine her trying to scratch that stuff off. I want to see her trying to sit down. This is not going. I am not wearing this, guys. I'm telling you now, y'all gonna be disappointed. <laughs> Estamos hablando de las cancanes. Estamos haciendo una broma a Karen porque como Karen. I heard Karen. You're talking about me in Spanish. Ella, ella, ella no le gusta las cosas que sean muy, cómo se dice, femenina. Este fru fru que tenga mucho mucho encaje mucho, um, mucho que no sean color. muy abultadas ajá entonces ella como no le gusta yo dije que le iba a mandar a hacer un tutú de bailarina y las chicas le dijeron que le iban a mandar a hacer una corona con todos los el, con todos los adornos de una bailarina y está ella imagínate Holy crap, you're going to sprain your tongue talking that fast. <laughs> I'm explaining to Ileana that you're going to be getting a tutu and you're going to dance for us with the tutu. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you must be on some good drugs right now. <laughs> it's that coffee from Costa Rica. Ileana es el café de Costa Rica que la tiene así. <laughs> Eliana says you guys are awful. <laughs> I agree with her. I like her. Who's she? Uh, she can be my new best friend. <laughs> well, Jod Jody says that she wants it better with some six inches heel heel. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm ignoring it. Oh, I think she, I think Karen will look cute with her heels. And the can can and the crinoline in there just to make it look 
you know, you got to have that crinoline in there. I just want to see her running down the, the, the street scratching. <laughs> Yes, I designed the drawer. This is my design. This is mine. And then um, I saw this one from um, this idea from um, Melanie Santiago, Flair by Me. She had one. So I just, I thought if I make a little drawer and add that on top and then put it on my desk. And every year I can switch these out and then have stuff to store my stuff there. I did a calendar for me when one of those Ikea frames. Uh-huh. I have it here in my desk if you want to see it. Let me see. Hold on. Let's put the camera on. And I found a bunch of... I don't know what you call this. My daughter and I got into. Let me just put the camera. And Young Sue says, and a bunch of stock uh, lace stockings for for can can dress. <laughs> okay. Poor Karen. Okay, here it is. Aww. This is a frame from. Ikea that I pay a dollar. I don't know what, what. Let me just fix my camera. I don't want that. And all I do was two of this, uh, like the hoops you're going to use on yours. Yep. And I used a little thing. I think it's a little shabby, don't you think? It's very shabby. Not a little shabby. It's a very shabby. So I, I decorate the front. But then I decorate the back, so when you go like this, you, you can have see the, back. the back, it's pretty. Yep. And then the front, and there you've got February. I don't remember what line of paper this was. I, I know it's uh, from um, crepe paper. That is pretty. Oh, I think I did a little bit of shabby. I love these bows, and I haven't been able. They're from Maya Road. That is cute. I like that. But get on, get in the camera because we can barely see you. There you go. Yeah, there you go. She does shabby, and she says she doesn't. Now we got to jump on Angie's case. So I did, yeah, and then here in October, I wanted to give a little, you know, just the fall colors. And the lady says that, um, Jody says, Angela, you do Rolodex card. The best you should make is a video on them. Yes, I agree. I agree, Jody. She needs so to this is with my calendar that I is using the frame of a dollar from Ikea. That's a, that's a cute little... I, it's not my is I don't take the credit. I saw it done in a video in a YouTube video the, using this frame. Uh -huh. But I kind of modify the way I wanted to make my pages. Because she did it in another way. And I never do a project like the instruction says. And I found all these. Look what I found in a box. My daughter and I, what are these called? I forgot. Hat pins. Pins, and we got my daughter is a jewelry maker and she got into these things and we start making all these and I found them went crazy making them for a while and people love to get them in racks yep I guess I'm, I'm gonna start giving it in my swaps I went crazy making those fat and chunky charms yeah. I like I like Chunky charms. Yeah, I like chunky charms. I just don't have the patience anymore to do stuff like that. You know, I use my daughter taught me how to, but when my my lupus and my arthritis on my hand, sometimes it's kind of hard for me to. Oh, look at what I found! I told you Tori I found says, some fabrics. Look, Tori said. Tori said that Michaels has those frames. Uh, Kiki says. So Kiki, she got those frames from Ikea, but if you see, Tori says you can get them at Michael's. Um, 
Yeah, I think we've all made uh, stick pins for those fabric lace books. Oh, those are pretty. Um, I never make a lace book. I don't know what that even is. Oh, you'll you you'll like it. You'll find out. Look what Kiki says. Angela, stop finding stuff in boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I found. It's beautiful. That's pretty. Where did you get that? Do you even remember where you got that from? I don't know. Maybe somebody sent it to me. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? It is. And then she sent me this lacy piece of, I don't know, is this considered fabric? That's fabric, yeah. No. Yeah, that's fabric. It's like a fabric, a pink. And then she sent me the this kind of turquoise color. So she sent me, I think that this was a a friend that we did a swap and she included those in there. And I found it. You have a tons of charms and you haven't done anything with them. Uh, you need to do some chunky charms with them. You have to do some chunky charms. Yes, yes. You can go back to you can go back to to Miss um Miss May. Mm -hmm. You don't know how I have a video tutorial on how to do it, Miss Jody, on my other channel. I think you I'll have more than one, don't you? Yeah, I think I have a couple of them, but it, I'll, I'll post it in the group so you can see it. Yes, okay, so enough laughing for all of us. Did you guys have fun tonight? Did I make you guys laugh enough? Yeah. Do you think the three of us together are the three the three stooges? <laughs> Would you say that we um, are the comedy road show? <laughs> you all say what you want, but you know, I'm thinking more like the musketeers. Okay, the three musketeers. Three musketeers. <laughs> Los tres amigos. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we made you guys laugh. And I'm glad you guys came. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Miss Jody. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Jackie, for this paper. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I'll use it eventually. And thank you, ladies, for letting me in in your community. I have learned a lot from your wonderful projects. Uh, I just stepped myself into a, a new tr a new way to craft that I never oh. thought I will. Oh, you're welcome, Kiki. I'm glad you joined us. I'm glad that we were able to make you laugh. And yes, you're very welcome, Angela, for joining us. And we love having you. Okay. Oh, and Joyce says she's going to have a nightmare with Karen and a tutu, but challenge is accepted. We got to find that tutu. <laughs> Joyce, that's what you get. You brought it on yourself. I have no sympathy for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, the best therapy in life is laughter. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. That is about the most ultimate way of enjoying life to the max. Um, and I appreciate you guys 100%. Yes. Yeah. You're going to start st yours through, sure. All right. Right on, Kiki. I like the way you think. Let us know if you find something. And we're all going to send this tutu, and everyone's going to put their little piece of appreciation for Karen Stencil. <laughs> oh, I know that. I know that, Yvonne, and I love you too. That's the good thing is we can laugh with each other. Yes. Yeah. It's serious. It's all in fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate you guys. 100%. 100%. All right, ladies. I will let you guys go. Don't forget to join me Monday here, same channel, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will be working on a um, hoop. 
And then um, I know you guys have given asked for a request on learning how to make this little calendar box. And you asked me if I'm going to do a kit out of that. I probably won't make a kit out of that just because I can't. The, the legs that I use are from Tim Holtz. But what I would do is I will give you the measurements and you can follow along. How's that? Sounds good. Yes. I would give you guys the chipboard. You guys can find the chipboard. I will give you guys the um, instructions on how to size it up and all that. We'll do it together. And um, if it's not this weekend, because I want, it would be nice to get it done this, this month. But if it's not this weekend, um, uh, if, if my suitcase stuff doesn't come in this weekend, then we can definitely work on that this coming weekend. We love you too, Kiki. Thank you for joining us. So it sounds like a plan. If um, suitcase is not, the bras aren't here, we'll do the calendar Saturday. You're robotic, May. Mm -hmm. I'm robotic. Oh, I still want to. I don't know if that made a difference or not. Okay, I don't know if you heard me. So, if Brad's are not here this Saturday, we will then work on the calendar drawer um, Saturday. And what you'll need is chipboard, some Tim Holtz legs and drawers, some rings, some craft paper, some score tape, some... I found that this glue is about the best glue, and I'm not kidding you. This thing will do its job. It is awesome. And Susan has it in her store right now for $3.99. I can ship it to those who purchased a kit for the suitcase and add it to your kit. Um, and she'll get more if you guys are interested in getting more. She did get more. Oh, by the way, she did get more of the Stamperia paper. She has um, roses, laces, and something. Uh, she got yeah, she got the rice papers. Um, but I went in yesterday and the papers that she got in from Stamperia was, um, old laces or rose and laces. I have to remember which one it was. She got blues from Stamperia. She got flowers, flowers and lace, flowers and letters. She yeah. got um, around the world. She got wedding lace and something else. Um, I'll get the list from her. Yeah. Um, just um, send Susan. She has her PayPal in the group. Send her. Um, just send her the three ninety nine. I will put it in your kit. I will pick up all the glues probably Monday because she was out of town. I will go in and pick up all the glues. It's very beautiful. Yes, old laces is very, very beautiful from Stamperia. Um, I will pick up all the glues from everyone, but I have found that when gluing chipboard pieces that you're doing structural 3D chipboard, this is awesome. I have tried and I am a fan. Y'all know I've been using this since 2011. I love this but this here for chipboard is by far it, it's it's highly recommended if you're doing 3p 3d on chipboard um it is this one it is tonics craft tacky glue kiki Oh, you already asked Carla. She keeps bugging me. She keeps telling me, but I, she says that I, I like granny makeup because I don't like anything too bold, too bold. So if suitcase is not here Saturday, get your chipboard, get your score tape, get your distressing, get your paper, get your rings, get your glues, get your, all your goodies. And I will see you here Saturday. Um, Oh, well, I'll see you Monday, but then I'll see you again Saturday. All right, ladies. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.
Yes, Liz, I'll make sure she has your name. Name for what? Liz wants to order one of those glues. Liz, Liz Jamila, Jam, Jam, Jamarlo? Jaramillo. Okay. <laughs> we gotcha. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, ladies. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.